In this video, I want to explore the use of a stepper motor to change the pitch of a string on the pedal steel guitar. Since the addition of pedals and knee levers, the pedal steel guitar has done this with mechanical mechanisms. Pedals and knee levers are connected to the changer via rods and bell cranks. The changer is a lever with rounded top to which the string is connected. As the lever is moved, the string is stretched or loosened, which raises or lowers the pitch of the string. The purpose of this video is to explore the use of electronics and motors to do the same thing without mechanical connection to the pedals and knee levers. I made a mock-up of a pedal steel guitar with one string. The string is tuned to E and represents the fourth string on an E9 pedal steel guitar. That string typically has three pedals and knee levers which allow the string to be raised to F and F sharp and to be lowered to D sharp. I have programmed the microprocessor to do the same thing. Here you can see the top of the guitar. On the left is the tuner and roller nut. On the right is the pickup, the changer frame, and one changer finger. The advent of 3D printing has made stepper motors and control boards inexpensive and accessible to the hobbyist. In this video I'm using a breadboard, a NEMA 11 form factor stepper motor, an Arduino microprocessor, a stepper motor driver board, push buttons, a light sensor, a 5 volt breadboard power supply, and 24 volt bench power supply. I purchased all of these on the internet. I made a changer finger lever out of aluminum scrap and I 3D printed the take up reel for the stepper motor. I connected the take up reel to the changer finger with nylon cord. I connected a helper spring from the body of the guitar to the changer finger. The NEMA 11 form factor is one of the smallest sizes of stepper motors. As a result of size, it does not have a lot of torque. The size is critical if there are to be 10 or 12 stepper motors which are needed to change pitch on every string. The larger form factor motors are simply too big for this purpose. The motor I'm using has a rated holding torque of 65 micronewton meters. That is not strong enough to move the changer finger by itself. By attaching a helper spring to the changer finger, I was able to lower the force to a level that the motor could handle. I got the idea for using a helper spring from a YouTube by Greyhound on his stepper guitar. The Arduino microprocessor comes in several sizes. I'm using the smallest one called the Nano. The Arduino is controlled by software written in C++. The programs are called Sketches and consist of two functions, Setup and Loop. The Setup function provides a space to initialize variables and perform startup routines. The Loop function is an infinite loop which is executed after the Setup function is finished. The Loop contains the code to interrogate inputs and generate output such as the steps to perform a stepper motor task. I use a light sensor to calibrate the starting point for the changer finger. Once the changer moves to its known starting point, I move the changer finger to its neutral position. I use four buttons in the loop. Three buttons represent the three pedals or knee levers. Pressing one of these buttons causes the sketch to move the changer finger to a given position, and releasing the button causes the sketch to return to neutral. I use the fourth button to select a speed for the changer movement. Instead of using buttons as I've done for this project, the movement and speed of the changer finger can be controlled by a potentiometer, light sensor, or other variable resistance device. Here's the program in action. The startup moves the changer finger to the neutral position. Once at the neutral position, I tune the string to E. I then press and release buttons to change pitch. F and F sharp raises return the string to E accurately. The D sharp lower does not return the string to E exactly. This is due to loose machining on the changer finger. You can see the tuner display the notes as I operate the buttons and pluck the string. I think this experiment shows that electronic control of a pedal steel guitar is possible. Electronic control opens up possibilities that are not practical today. For instance, it is possible to dynamically change the tuning temperament from just intonation to equal temperament or any other temperament. It is also possible to dynamically change the pedal assignments, like from Emmons today. 
The pedals no longer need to be attached to a pedal bar. They can be moved to a pedal board which can then be positioned for best ergonomic placement. The same thing goes for knee levers. They can be placed in the best position for player comfort. The height of the guitar is not restricted by mechanical pedal rod dimensions. These are just some of the things that flying by wire facilitates.